Okay, good morning or whatever time of day it is where you are. It is Friday, another Friday. The date will be at the bottom of the screen, so I don't know about that. <laughs> I've um, jotted down a couple of little things to chat about. And the main one is um, my future. Uh, I did have a plan but it's backfired so I would have been a shop manager by now but that backfired on me so um, I'm, I'm the shop supervisor as I was on about yesterday about some um, more challenges about running this, uh, a child shop the shop unfortunately unfortunately might not be around from January onwards so it's a case of back up to the May in Dover and working in either Ashford, Canterbury or Little Shop. Um, what I want to move on to, it's a, it's a long story so I'm not going to go into it. I've mentioned it in past vlogs but it's, uh, I don't want to make these vlogs too long. <laughs> so what I want to move on to, I want to, I am quite a creative person. I enjoy creating stuff on computer. I like designing websites. I like working around with desktop publishing, designing little new newspapers and magazines. My own just experimenting using the software. Um, designed some good things, some experimental things, just, just mucking about. It's quite impressed what I can do. I have a, a love of video editing, that's why I love doing these vlogs. Uh, my creative side is all based on computer. Um, give me a pen and paper or pencil and paper and I, I'm not very artistic but on a computer um, that's where my creative skills are I, I can sit for hours designing stuff and it's like designing it's like if you did if you'd noticed for a few weeks um, I kept changing my thumbnails and some of the videos because they weren't good enough and I kept changing them I'm trying to design something original so in the meantime I'm going to be changing my thumbnails quite often on different videos until I can find the right combination which I feel happy with uh, so that's why when you look for my videos, the thumbnails change all the time. <laughs> I use Canva, the um, online designer. That's quite impressive, actually. Okay, well, welcome back. I'm going to do a news roundup to something different while we talk about myself. <laughs> so it's uh, Friday the 19th of May 2017 and it's just 8.31 in the morning. I was looking at the news in Times Square. The driver who ran down pedestrians and killed a teenager and injured 22 saying that he heard voices and he was hoping to be shot dead at the court. court. I mean, wow, what is going on? Uh, we had the one in London a few months ago. Uh, the guy who got shot, he, he went over killed a police officer, a few people, and uh, he got shot, dead. And this guy was doing the same, but he wanted to get shot. I mean, what's going on? I mean, I just, I just don't know. It's stupid. I, just, I can't understand why people do that. Instagram is worse for young and mental health. All the users were asked to so, score social media platforms and issues include anxiety, loneliness and body image. Oh god. So what so the Instagram is gonna be like um oh god. I mean it was it used to be magazines where they airbrushed, now it's like Instagram. Royal Society for Public Health Studies. <gasps> Gee Deep Depression I was in the twenties, got hooked on social media as a teenager. The online communities made me feel included and that I was worthwhile. However, soon I began to neglect real life. Oh, I get you. I fell into a deep depression, age 16, which lasted for months and was utterly horrible. During this time, social media made me feel worse and I would constantly compare myself to other people and make myself feel bad. Oh dear. It was like anything really, isn't it? I mean, Yeah, I suppose it's one of it's, There's always going to be something in life that uh, people 
look differently at, isn't there? I mean, I said magazines with airbrushing and um, games like Grand Theft Auto could be people can misinterpret it that say, oh, it could cause violence, it might not cause violence. You know, anything that's done these days is always good and bad side to it. Oh, well, BBC Falls Bank Voice Recognition Security. Yeah, HSBC got you can um, the flawless voice um, security when you're on the phone and stuff. But one of the BBC presenters got a twin, and his twin managed to get onto his other twin's account uh, by mimicking his brother's voice. So uh, if you've got twins, don't join the HSBC security. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if Rory Bremner can do get away with doing people's voices and uh, I reckon he should test it on HSBC Rory Bremner I reckon he should test it if you don't know who he is he's a British comedian he does voice a lot of different voices he's quite good at the job police officers not properly vetted oh, okay S signal failure causes major rail disruption <gasps> god Where's this then? Bedfordshire? Oh, Bedfordshire. Never been there. Never been to bed. I've been to bed, but not Bedfordshire. Right, UK gets first digital air traffic control. Oh, well, I don't know. So what does that mean? Does that mean it's going to just digital? It's going to be, I don't know, no bips and bobs. It's all digital, is it? Oh, okay. It looks like the old the old days where you had like air traffic control <laughs> again. It looks like that. <laughs> Oh dear. Still, as long as it helps, it helps, it's good. And of course, the big news as well that um, Ralph House has been released from prison. I didn't know he was in Stafford Prison. I, I, my hometown, Stafford. It's like blooming heck. It's like, jeez. How dare they put him there? <laughs> that prison is just, just right next to the town centre. Blooming heck. It's to walk past there a lot. You can all hear the abuse coming out the windows, you know, shouting at you and stuff. My God, how dare they. I never knew he was there, actually. Never knew he was there. Um, I don't know, really. There's not much else. What else is there? Filming Beneath the Rubble. Oh, it's a video. Oh, I don't want to see that. One. No. Okay. Entertainment. Let's get entertainment and arts, and then I'll... Um, then I'll call it quits. Sir Elton John and Alice Cooper lead the tri the tributes to Chris Cornell following the singer's suicide. Okay. Uh, okay. No, that's nothing else really. Trump can't escape climate change. Well, there you go. You can't escape it. Well, he can if he locks himself in a cupboard. Uh, that's silly, wasn't it? Worst products for recycling names. Oh, okay. So what can't you recycle now, then? Oh, Pringle boxes. Oh, Lucas Aid bottles. Pringles. Cleaning spray bottles. Black... Plastic food trays. Whiskey packaging. <laughs> whiskey. whiskey packaging, I don't know. <laughs> oh dear. Here are a list of examples of easy recycling products. Milk bottles, ring pour can, drink yoghurt, a Japanese yoghurt drink. Okay. They're easy recyclable. There you go, just in case you wanted to know. Uh, well then that's it really that's it that's it for today's vlog two little pips and uh, I keep saying this every time I do another segment I will say this is it. thank you so much for watching you know <laughs> that's it <laughs> then I do another one <laughs> well good I, I can edit these together and knock bits out so I'm happy okay thank you so much